Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kim Fairminer, astrologer, author, and witch, here to help you flow with the ever-changing planetary energies. Today, I'm excited to share with you an excerpt from my 2024 year ahead forecast, focusing on Jupiter's journey through Gemini. We'll explore the most important dates and astrological alignments shaping the year ahead. So grab your birth chart, let's dive in. One of the things that I love about 2024 is that all the major outer planet transits are connections with Jupiter. So that's kind of like the main flavor of um, the year. Jupiter brings us that sense of optimism and growth, um, particularly around Gemini topics when um, the planet changes signs from late May. So in Sanskrit, Jupiter's um, called guru. Um, I'm not a guru, but I love Jupiter and I love to teach and share my knowledge of astrology and magic and spirituality. These are, you know, and chances are you do too. I mean, you wouldn't be here if you weren't interested in those topics. So like we're all Jupiterian people um, one way or another. So if you know a little bit of astrology, have a bit of a think about the house topic connected to Gemini in your chart, because that's where Jupiter is bringing you um, lucky opportunities in 2024. And here are some themes about Jupiter and Gemini specifically and um, the magic date where the shift. Like, So if you're a Taurus, you might be a little bit sad about um, Jupiter moving out of your sign, uh, but all the Geminis are looking forward to um, Jupiter's arrival because Jupiter's like Santa Claus. He's generous. He wants us to enjoy all life has to offer. In Gemini, um, there's an interest in communication and commerce. Um, I'm anticipating that the social the social media landscape is likely to expand. Um, maybe new platforms are going to pop up. Um, the monetization of those platforms. I'm specifically thinking of um, threads and also the prevalence of ads. So, like, just sort of look for that um, from May onwards. Um, Jupiter and Gemini can be too many shiny things and trying to be everywhere simultaneously. Um, in terms of older broadcast mediums, um, to sort of, you know, put in an analogy here, like radio or television, um, Jupiter and Gemini is kind of like channel surfing, but never listening to a whole song or watching an entire show. It's just kind of like hopping around. Um, so you can expect more ideas, more conversation from Jupiter and Gemini. There's also a sense of lighthearted play to what we're learning on our spiritual journeys here. Gemini is a light energy. And while Jupiter likes to kind of, you know, dig in and, um, you know, do something substantial, something weighty, Jupiter's like a massive planet. Um, so he's got, he's got this presence uh, which is kind of at odds with um, Gemini's lightness um, and, you know, depth touch. But so to max out, eh, that's a very Jupiter term, max out, um, max out Jupiter in Gemini, it's important to be open-minded and curious for best results. So there's a little bit of a jovial jester vibe to this transit. Um, so bring your sense of humor and you might want to um, even sort of showcase it in like just have fun with family, with friends, maybe even at work, not too much because um, you'll get into trouble <laughs> potentially. So from that professional perspective, um, this is also really great for um, writing and marketing. So if you're writing a book or teaching a course, Jupiter in Gemini brings additional planetary support. Um, there's also that more advertising, more marketing busyness. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. And so technically Jupiter isn't comfortable in Gemini because he'd much rather be on the opposite side of the Zodiac in Sagittarius. But there's this sense of seeing the details and getting to the big picture through experiencing the details um, during this transit. So ruled by Mercury, Mercury is the word that we also get our word commerce from. So like there's going to be a lot of buying and selling and particularly information products like books, courses, lectures, debates, discussion panels, like they're just going to go off. Jupiter's also interested in um, topics like philosophy, dreams, religion, spirituality, higher education, publishing and travel. But it's 
likely to come with a lot of spin. Um, so stay in your integrity as a seller. Um, remember, Jupiter is the planet of right dealing. And also read the fine print if you're um, buying. So have a look in your chart um, to see where you may be skimming the surface or have an abundance of options in your personal life. For example, if you're a um, single Sagittarius rising, you might suddenly find yourself very popular on the dating apps or find yourself involved in a love triangle. Um, Jupiter problems are usually good problems to have. All right. So here are the um, dates of the Jupiter transits um, when it moves into Gemini and also the um, first couple of transits there are while Jupiter is still in Taurus. So Jupiter isn't just moving into a busy active sign after the steadiness of Taurus. He's like super active um, with his connections to the outer planets throughout the year. We've had a look at Jupiter conjunct Uranus in April, like kind of peak 2024, um, in my opinion. So that's when change-making idealistic Uranus will happily collaborate with expansive philosophical Jupiter for practical purposes in Taurus. Remember, sky gods in an Earth sign, heaven and Earth coming together, hopefully in a nice way. We've then got at 29 degrees Taurus to 29 degrees Pisces, just before Jupiter changes sign to Gemini, a sextile between Jupiter and Neptune. And to me, this feels like embodied magic. Um, it offers the potential of blissful recognition that we can create our own experience of heaven right here on Earth. And questions you might like to ask yourself around this time, how can you embody your spirituality and experience oneness right here on earth? And it may be through loving your goddess given body. It may be through tangible acts of devotion. It may be through creating art. I actually really like this um, aspect and really like it's, Believe, believe, like, you know, it's really, um, yeah, beautiful, um, hopeful. So Jupiter moves into Gemini and like almost immediately bumps into um, the trine with Pluto in Aquarius um, in that first degree. So Jupiter will amplify and boost Pluto in Aquarius. And we will, um, you know, get to that if I hurry up. Um, <laughs> this is really going to bring to the fore the strong air sign themes. So think digital surveillance, data farming, social control. It'll seem like harmless online fun, but there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. So I think people um, would benefit from skilling up um, your knowledge of online security now in advance of um, that Jupiter trine Pluto. Learn how to recognize AI-generated content and don't become overly reliant on that technology yourself. Technology is a tool, but you are the master or you should be. Into the second half of the year, you'll see that there we've got the first two passes of Jupiter square to Saturn. And this to me is a real sort of change of pace um, between like the first half of the year where you've got kind of like those, those big concepts and then it kind of like runs into some difficulties with the square to Saturn. So Jupiter and Saturn um, in square, that's like classic tension between growth and containment. Um, in Gemini and Pisces, I am anticipating mindset challenges. There's a need for realism and perseverance um, that doesn't tip into doom and gloom or wade into magical thinking. So your thinking could be muddled and maybe feeling and intuition could be suppressed. Um, thankfully, Pluto, sorry, Pisces and Gemini, they're both mutable signs. So whichever way you lean isn't permanent. There's some movement there that, um, you know, and opportunities to readjust. Um, and you'll need to readjust to relieve um, this kind of like air of mental and psychic tension. 
So this carries us into 2025. I'm thinking because this kind of seems far off now um, that we might come back in about six months' time, if you'll have me, um, and do like another sort of like more deeper look at um, the second half of 2024. Here's a little slide with a little bit more information, a little reminder about what I'm getting up to next year and, um, you know, inviting you to come along. I really would love to have you. I've also got a new website happening um, around that time too, which is very exciting. If you'd like to get in touch with me, here are my contact details. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook or good old-fashioned email. 